Good afternoon, everyone. This is George with the Cross Country Mission. I want to talk to you just for a minute or two, maybe, about the mark of the beast and what the Bible says that this mark is going to be. So, it, what we're going to find in this text is in Revelation 13, verses uh, 16, 17. So, he says, he says, and he calls us all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads. He said, and that no man might buy or sell, saveth he that hath the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of the name, the number of his name. And then he goes on, he said, let no man, let, let him who has wisdom calculate, for it is the number of a man, for it is the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 603 score and 6. In the NIV version it says 666. Now, the NIV version narrows it down to this mark, and it says what it says, and I find it peculiar, because this is closer to the original translation, closer to the original text, the New King James Version, and this is much further away in time, this is the New International Version. Now, some people say that, that the Bible gets watered down as time goes on, and according to which uh, Bible translation you're, you're reading out, you will see anomalies that are a little bit different, but I trust you, or I, I trust that God is true in his word, and they are all inspired by the Holy Spirit through man. So anyways, over here it says it can be one of three things. It says it can either be the mark, a mark, or it says, and that no man ought by sell, least he that saveth he that have the mark, or the number of the beast, or the number of his name. So it leaves it open. It can be any kind of mark, maybe an invisible tattoo, maybe a, a single point dot, maybe it can be anything. You see what I'm saying? It can be an invisible tattoo on your forehead. It doesn't say that it has to be the, the number of the beast or the name of the beast, right? But over in the NIV, see, because who would benefit from this change? Now listen to me. It says, uh, he also forced everyone, small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on his right hand or on his forehead. So here, here comes the difference. He says, so that, no, so that no one could buy or sell unless he had the mark. And then it tells you what the mark is. It says, which is the name of the beast or the number of his name. So the NIV leads you to believe that it is specifically the number of the beast or the name of the beast. You hear what I'm saying? So it narrows it on down to where most people today, you're just chucking through life. And you're like, well, I ain't getting no 666 tattooed on my right hand or forehead. And I certainly ain't getting Lucifer tattooed on me across my hand or my forehead. Not he is the love of the Lord anyways, right? But... The text that is more uh, resemblant of the original text uh, that the Bible was written is says that it is a mark, or it is the number of his name, or it is the name of, or it is his name. So uh, don't 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 be deluded or conceit or uh, how can I say it? Don't be deceived. Okay, it's it's not it's not just a six 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 or number. It could be anything. It could be an invisible tattoo. It could be something annotating that you are in agreement with the system that is in place, right? And that system, more than likely, if you follow that system, you are not going to be allowed to worship the Lord your God the way that it was the way that He intends you to worship Him. So, uh, stay sharp. Uh, Witness to everybody that you possibly can about the goodness that God is. Pull everyone out of the out of the fire and out of the reality that they're living in, with uh, with all the sin that, that's so prevalent in this world today. I love you, and Jesus loves you. Don't receive no mark. Think about it anyways. Pray to God, and He'll give you wisdom. This George with Cross Country Mission. Have a great day.